Hello everyone, this is Linda. I want to build this little bed. That's, that's what I want to get done. But, I don't have no soil to put in there, right? So, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to get some um, dead leaves and, that I have back here from you know, last season and the season before that. So I'm gonna get my shovel, but I'm gonna go back there and get a lot of that um, compost matter back there. And I'm gonna put it in this bed, but I'm gonna go and buy me some Kellogg's. And uh, I'm gonna share with you all, uh, if it don't rain, but, Whatever way it goes, it's gonna go. The other night, because we had a meteor shower. It was a night of a meteor shower. So my son was really interested in seeing that. So he came and got one of his telescopes. He got some huge telescopes and he put it out here in the garden where it's really dark at night. So he can uh, see this meteor shower, like 10, 10.30 and um, I cooked us some chicken wings, you know. <laughs> the lights went out. Every light in my entire neighborhood went totally out. It was like, really, what really happened? You know, there was no lightning, there was no rain, there was nothing. But the lights went out and they stayed out for about an hour. Yeah, they stayed out for about an hour. Um, our energy, our electric company is Entergy. So Entergy texts me and says, uh, bad news, <laughs> your power's off. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't forgot what they said is the cause, what was the cause of it, but it came back on in about an hour, but you know, thank God we had to finish frying out chicken wings. <laughs> I'm gonna share with you all um, the banana tree and we gonna take, we gonna take mama down, little mama down. So this is mama ring the tree. I, I'm gonna try to see how tall it is. So this is where I stand to it. So this, this, and this is how tall this tree is. Now I'm 5'8. I'm 5'8, yeah. I wish I was taller. I wish I was taller. <laughs> and um, so let's see if I can go upwards with with it and show you just how tall this tree is. She's very tall. I don't know. I, I can't see what you see now, but yeah, she's way up there. Way. So I'm gonna cut her down and then we're gonna harvest all the leaves from her. All right, guys, let me get busy. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. I have decided that I'm going to chop her down, um, but it'll probably be in a video uh, this weekend that I'm going to chop beautiful. Uh, I'm going to chop her down because if I allow her to stay, uh, now this is all the growth she did from just the spring of 2020. So if I let her stay, God, Lord knows how tall she'll be. So yeah, I'm going to cut her down and she'll grow back.
All right, guys, so there, there they are. They're laying down, and I laid them down. Good morning, everyone. So, <laughs> I've been looking for this one who's been eating these greens like this. So, it's been about three days since I've been looking for this leaf eating monster. I know he's big now because he's healthy, he's eating up everything. But this moment, Early this morning, brother was snoozing, <laughs> and I got him. Check him out, yo. Look how big he is. That thing is huge. He's big, and he sleep. Oh, he sleep. <laughs> nope, that's not him, but that's him right there. Wake up, bud. Uh-huh. Oh, that's him. He is huge. Look at that. So this has been eating up everything. See that? Look at that leaf. He just tagged it up. Yeah. Say good night, little brother. Mm. So this is my uh, my giant red mustards in this area. Yeah, looking good this morning. <laughs> and um, there are more and more of them coming up. They doing good. My tomato plant here this morning. So. I didn't share all of the tomato hornworms that I pulled off this little plant. In total, I pulled three tomato hornworms off this plant. So my thought is always, if you have one tomato hornworm, you have two. Mm -hmm. It's just my thinking. And usually, yeah, it happened. But this one had three tomato hornworms on it. The one that I shared with you all was the biggest. Yeah, that was the biggest, but hmm. the way they were eating, yeah, they weren't gonna be big very soon, very soon, but no worries. They say goodnight too. <laughs> yep. Uh, Here's some of my brassicas where I've made super juice. Yeah, and here are the bigger greens. Now family, I have been eating my greens because, you know, this is what they are here for. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, oh boy, I see something here that doesn't look good. You see that? Let's take a look. Let's take a look, look. Well, you know that this is not like cabbage looper. No, that's not cabbage loopers. That is one of them brothers down there. Oh yeah, he down there somewhere. I'm gonna have to get on the hunt for him because He's down there. Right now, he's snoozing somewhere, that's for sure. <laughs> he had a good night last night. <laughs> yeah. 
But um, let me share uh, the other bed with you all. Here is the yeah. <laughs> this is the bed that I, I don't like the soil, but hey, this is it. Now I have something in here that's really tagging these plants big time. Look at that. See this plant is, yeah, he's in there. And, and you know the whole thing is that, uh, you know, I could go around with my spray and spray up everything, but no. So this is the way neem oil, this is the process of neem oil and the lemon and the orange oils that I make. So, you spray your plants. And when you spray your plants, don't look for, don't, don't look for a, a, a huge crime scene all at one time, because that is not gonna happen. Neem oil does not kill uh, any kind of bugs um, like that. You know, like you spray and then, you know, next minute or so you see bugs dead. What neem oil does, neem oil stops the bugs from doing their daily things. Like crawling, flying, mating, eating, and then that insect die. Yeah, that's that's the process of neem oil. So it doesn't, it's not like raid <laughs> where you spray and then you turn around and you see a thousand bugs dead. You would like to have it like that, but <laughs> that's not the way it works. And, uh, now, I think that's uh, that's the organic way of dispatching. <laughs> that's a cool word for it, right? Um, insects off your vegetables, especially these um, aphids and leaf-eating um, worms, like the one we just saw. Yeah. But let's go look at more. This is the little. I don't know what to do with this one here. These now these are these bok choys, and this is not the only one that had this yellow one on it. But I'm gonna help them out today. This is some lemon thyme with a mustard green. Here's some seeds I dropped with you all. Just a lot of brassicas. I'm going to choose from uh, for some of these because, yep, I'll show you what I'm about to do. This is the third and final bed that I'm going to make, and it's going to go right here where it's laying. Yeah, right next to this little mama. Jody put this crab shell in here. I have a bunch of them going through the garden, and Jada says she's going to... She's gonna spray paint them, but anyway, <laughs> I just let them, y'all. I just let them. But this little bed here, as you can see here, we do have a leaf eater in here. This, this is no cabbage looper. This is, yeah, it's a big boy here. And usually, Usually, there is one big bug to an area. And seldomly, you'll find two of those big leaf eating bugs um, in the same area. Usually, uh, it's like a territorial thing, you know. But, uh, look at that. So, I shared with you what I did yesterday.
these are my Katrina bricks. There's some lemon balm, some spearmint there. But here I planted my rhubarb. Yeah. I planted my rhubarb here. Right there in the middle is basil. And all around, this is brassicas here and here and here. All of these are brassicas. And these are nasturtiums and um in zenas and i'm gonna plant more brassicas here yeah there's some of them right there <laughs> anyway my sweet peas stay hanging in there yeah ah, but that is what's going on here this morning <clears throat> Here's some more brassicas here. I want to say there's some kind of beets or Swiss chard in there, but and here is my chickpeas. This is chickpeas. Yep. Sweet potatoes. More brassicas. That's a pepper plant. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> and this is a sereno pepper and you see she do have a lot of pepper yarn this is a oh, the overwinter pepper from last spring yep. and this is my morning glories up a tree k-i-s-s-i-n-g <laughs> yeah that's who that is She's way up there. Oh boy, it's up there. And this is a uh, weeping willow tree. Weeping willow tree. And <clears throat> the hibiscus. Woo, this little thing been showing out, y'all. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> yeah, she's been showing out. This one just closed. This is about to open. <laughs> and another one. And another one. <laughs> yeah, she, she's really. Those hibiscus, they, get off. they don't stop. I'm gonna have to either pull this back some more this way and I'm going to put a little fence in up where it could push her over at least straight because she's leaning out like you know like she's just a little lazy girl <laughs> yeah there's some more glory with bell pepper and another pool of um, morning glories. Yeah. Peppers. Mm -hmm. and here is the hibiscus. We dropped here together. She's doing great. She the flower bloom. So this is my little hibiscus that I planted in the ground. So I think she likes it here. <laughs> I think she likes it. And she has another flower coming. Yeah, she like it. So the morning sun is hitting her. So if I move over, you see that. <laughs> yeah, but she looks really pretty over here. Go girl, go ahead. <laughs> and she having another one show up. And this, I'm so, this is just so cool. So this is that avocado tree. She's right there, that's her. Yeah, that's her. She's really getting tall. Cool, getting all kind of leaves on her. It's really pretty. 
here I have some brassicas in this truck room. I don't know what's up with this truck room. I don't know. I may put some flowers in it because it doesn't seem like anything is doing great in it, you know. <sighs> now, guys, I have eaten three LSU purple figs. And there's another one. Yes, I got that too long, but she ain't ready yet, but mm-hmm. So this is my wine barrel, and this is carrots and brassicas. Yeah, so, the nice carrots in here. Oh yeah. Today I'm gonna have a seafood burger. That's what I'm eating for lunch today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 